I'd like to consider the following example of a line integral for a space curve. I'd like to evaluate the line integral over the curve C of 2xyz ds, where C is the line segment connecting 200 0, 0 to the order triple 342. So in three dimensions, 200 0, 0 would be two units down the x axis with the third one on the way. And z would be up to. So 200 0, 0 would be this ordered triple right here. To come up with the placement of the second point, we use a combination of traces, sort of get ourselves into the right position. Let's draw an ordered triple right about. Yeah. So C is going to be the point, or excuse me, the curve connecting this initial point of 200 0, 0, to this terminal point of 342. Now, as we did with uh, line integrals in two dimensions, first thing we're going to do is parameterize C. Now, because it's a line segment, we could do the same as what we did in two dimensions and take starting point plus change in the variable times t. So for x, our starting point is 2. The change in the variable is going to be 3 minus 2 times t. So this will be simply 2 plus t. y starts at a value of 0. Change in y is 4 minus 0 times t, giving us 4t. Starting point for z is 0, and then we'll be doing 2 minus 0 for the change in z. So this will be 2t. Now, frequently what we would do with this is describe this curve using a vector function. This would be the vector 2 plus t, 4t, 2t, with t going from 0 to 1. One of the reasons that we do this is because we will also need a uh, ds. ds is going to be the magnitude of our prime of t, dt, which means take the derivative of all three of these components, square them, add them up, and take a square root. Derivative of 2 plus t with respect to t is going to be 1. Derivative of 4t with respect to t is equal to 4. And the derivative of 2t with respect to t is going to be 2. This will be dt. So we'll get the square root of 21 dt. Now the significance of this square root of 21 is that we just described the length of the line segment connecting these two points. And the reason that we need the entire length is because this is going to be over the course of exactly one unit in terms of t. So as such, we are now ready to parameterize our line integral. So line integral over the curve C of 2xyz ds will become the definite integral from 0 to 1 for t, 2 times x, that's 2 plus t, times y, that's 4t, times z, that's 2t, times ds. That'll be square root of 21 times dt. What I'm going to do is take all of these constants and pull them outside of the integral. I'm going to pull out the 2, the 4, the 2, and the square root of 21. 2 and 4 and 2, that'll be 16, square root of 21. And I'll take the remaining t and t and 2 plus t and multiply those together. It'll be 2t squared plus t cubed dt. That will allow us to integrate using the power rule to get 2 thirds t cubed plus 1 quarter t to the fourth. Once again, going from lower bound 0 to upper bound 1. Plugging in these bounds, the upper bound will give us simply the coefficients. So 16 square roots of 21 times 2 thirds plus 1 quarter. Plugging in the lower bound of 0 will give us 0. Adding these two together will give us 11 twelfths. 16 over 12 can reduce. 
and upon reduction, that'll give us a final answer of 44 square roots of 21 all over 3.